One of the most important habits to get into when you're dealing with algebra or arithmetic is to find out ways of simplifying your problems so we can use the commutative and uh, associative properties to do that but in order to really understand how that process works I suggest building your own expressions building your own creations so that you know how these equations and expressions would break down that'll give you some great insight so in a program like Microsoft Word you can do this by clicking insert go down to object I know there's an equation editor button here I don't like that one I, just, I click object Microsoft equation hit OK and that'll pop up the equation editor Now there are lots of options up here for addition and other operations um, well for addition you're just you're going to use the plus button on the keyboard but for the other operations you'll use this tab right here um, you might also be using the parentheses tab right all kinds of parentheses up here maybe different kinds of inequalities um, and over here we have fractions and square roots and here we have exponents or superscripts and subscripts as well and over here we have some Greek letters now at first this is overwhelming right? because there's so many different fun operations in here but it's really a great editor tool and in fact becomes quite intuitive very quickly so if I want to enter in 3 plus 4 I type 3 plus on the keyboard 4 and then maybe I'll add a parenthesis in here with a bunch of fractions, right? So enter my fraction over 6, press the right key, times, I'm going to use the dot for times here, 6. And whenever you're done, right, you've entered your equation, just press close, right, and the equation will enter automatically into Word, and you can resize it, right? And this is quite a nice a nice feature um, of Microsoft Word. It's an easy way to enter in equations, especially if you're using a computer in class. Another option that I like is this online latex equation editor. This is the website up here. And I got it by just typing in equation editor. Now latex is a, is a way, a, a code really, right? And here in this box you're typing in the code. You don't have to know the code. It'll prompt it for you when you select the different operations and symbols up here. What's really nice about this program is as you enter in the code in this box, you'll see it displayed down here. So if I type in 3 plus 4, right, it shows me the, the equation down here. Different fonts, different sizes. And here I can enter in fractions as well. So here's the fraction button. Notice there are two spaces for fraction. It looks intimidating, but all the commands start with a slash. Fraction, first space is numerator, second space denominator. And you can see it down here. Sometimes if you want to add parentheses, I usually add them at the end because that's the most confusing command. So if I want to put parentheses around let's say these two terms, I highlight them, then select the parentheses over here with one click. And it puts the correct code in. If you ever make a mistake with the code, you can delete it and play with it until you see display down here what you want. Now, there are two wonderful features to this. Well, a few. Down here, right, if you're typing uh, somebody an email, and you want to link to an equation, right? You could just give this link down here and it'll produce an image of this equation right here. So I'll copy that and show you, right? So you can write an email with all kinds of equations in it and those equations will pop up as links, right? You could also have HTML for embedding in your website. Um, you could also right click this here or, or control click, copy the image and put it into Microsoft Word which I think is super convenient uh, if you're typing a paper. Here you can resize it to get it however you want to look. And if, if it's kind of blurry, right, you would resize it here so that it's easier to see. Change the font size, right, or right as large as you need. And then it's, it'll look better when you p paste it into Microsoft Word. Now here's the awesomest part of all. If you take the latex equation, control all, Right, Control C for copy or Command C, and then go to the website wolframalpha.com. You can simply paste the latex equation in there and press Enter, and Wolfram Alpha will evaluate it for you. So this will help you check to see if your equation is the does reduce down to the value that you think it does. Wolfram Alpha will solve it for you, and use this answer for understanding. Thanks.